guys, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot here. I'm gonna be unboxing something very special, the Electric Sky LED Grow Light System by the Green Sunshine Company. I will also be reviewing and testing these lights. I'll be focusing on the ES300 300 watt LED Grow Light. I'd also like to note that there's a smaller version of this fixture available for smaller spaces, the ES180 180 watt LED Grow Light. It is recommended that two ES300s are used in a 4x4 or 5x5 space, so while I'll be unboxing one of these lights, I'll have two lights up for testing. Okay, let's get started. Here's a few items that you're going to find inside the box. A few different stickers. See that large sticker and that small sticker that I just showed you, so you can slap these up in your grow tent or grow room. Also hanging instructions, there's a few ways to hang this light using the wire hangers in the box or ratchet hangers and I'll show you a little trick on how you can angle these a little bit later in the video. Let's open this up. This light's actually gonna come double box. So right now you're just seeing it in a single box, but when you receive it, it'll be in two boxes for extra protection. Okay. So here's the wire hangers that I was talking about. These are adjustable. And here's a 240 volt plug. Notice it's the plug only. And the great thing about this light is you can detach the plug from the cord and plug this one in. So it allows you to switch between 120 and 240 volt applications. The Electric Sky 300 is 36 inches by 12 inches by 2.5 inches and it weighs 22 pounds. The diodes are placed in strips down the fixture in two sets of three. A 100 to 270 volt flexible meanwhile driver is housed inside the center of the fixture. The ES300 is passively cooled by heat sinks which run down the entirety of the unit. In fact, most of the fixture is the heat sink. This is an optimal design for expelling heat from the unit. The Electric Sky is a modular system that can be easily expanded. The shape or form factor of the ES180 and ES300 allows for the grower to set these up in a narrow grow space or over a small or large square or rectangular footprint. The Electric Sky lighting system is ideal for both home growers and commercial growers. The Electric Sky 300 contains three different colors of top bin mid power 1 watt diodes to create a wide band spectrum cool white, warm white, and a wide band red. The diodes are driven at 50%. At only 0.5 watts, this increases diode efficiency and lifetime. The diodes are expected to last 60,000 hours until they reach 90% brightness. Pretty good. Dual way 60 degree by 120 degree linear lenses cover each strip of LEDs. These secondary lenses increase the light intensity and penetration and direct light down to the plants while providing enough light spread for horizontal coverage and penetration. The lenses and LEDs are replaceable, so if the Green Sunshine Company comes out with any upgrades in the future, they can be easily swapped out. The efficacy of the unit is 2.0 micromoles per joule. This was measured from the 300 nanometer to 780 nanometer range, so it accurately captures the wideband red spectrum. Anything above 2.0 is considered quite efficient and standard in a good grow light as we move into the year 2018. The PPF, or photon output, of the fixture measured from the 300 nanometer to 780 nanometer range is 600 micromoles per second. So two units have a photon flux of about 1200 micromoles per second. This amount of light is quite ideal for flowering a 4x4 area or even slightly larger. The Electric Sky 300 draws just over 300 watts at the wall at full intensity. The fixture only pulls 2.5 amps at 120 volts. Two units will draw slightly over 600 watts at the wall and about 5 amps at 120 volts. Assume half the amperage for 240 volt applications. The Green Sunshine Company uses a unique, one-of-a-kind spectrum on their Electric Sky series. Their patent-pending GS1 wideband spectrum is heavy in red and infrared, while still providing a healthy amount of blue for increased quality and compactness, and green for increased photosynthesis and canopy penetration. The full-spectrum enhanced white light also makes a nice work light and allows you to see any pests or diseases that might be present in your garden. The proprietary spectrum, which I can't show here unfortunately, 
also contains a lot of far red light. Far red light, when combined with red light, has been proven to increase the rate of photosynthesis. Far red sufficiently activates photosystem 1, which can lead to larger leaves and stems for faster growth in veg and larger yields in flower. The Green Sunshine Company designed the wideband GS1 spectrum so that it grows plants quickly in any stage of plant growth. Growers can use this spectrum for seedlings, veg, and bloom, so seedling to harvest growth. The vegetative footprint for one ES300 unit is up to a 3 foot by 6 foot area, while two units can cover up to a 6 foot by 6 foot area. The flowering footprint for a single ES300 is up to a 2.5 foot by 5 foot area. Two units can cover up to a 5 by 5 foot area. For higher intensities during flower, you can use two units in a 4 by 4 foot space, so 16 square feet total. Or for the highest intensity, you can place three ES300s six inches apart and cover a four foot by 4.5 foot area. For starters, I would recommend using two of these fixtures in a four foot by four foot tent or grow area for the best results and scale as needed. The recommended hanging height for veg is 24 inches to 48 inches and 15 to 21 inches for flower. For smaller areas, such as a three by three foot area, it is recommended that you use two ES180s. One of the unique features of the Electric Sky lighting system is that you can angle the lights. The wire hangers that these lights come with allow you to angle the lights at about 45 degrees or so, maybe a little bit less. So this is perfect for increasing intensity towards a plant or several plants, or even using these as side lighting in a larger grow. Um, such as an LED grow or an HID grow. This is an ideal primary or secondary application for these lights. I tested the PPFD under two ES300s in a 4x4 reflective grow tent. Keep in mind that the PAR meter only picks up wavelengths in the 400 to 700 nanometer range. Since the electric sky system contains a fair amount of far red, this meter is only picking up about 90% of the light. You'll notice that our first reading in the center was just under 500. Here on the side of the tent, it's about 380. And in the corner, looks like we're looking at just over 400. Moving on to the left side, about 340. And then back to the center, just right around 500. So really good par um, for a uh, four x four area two of these lights at 48 inches. The recommended veg height for this light is 24 to 48 inches. So the second reading that I'm gonna take is at 24 inches. Right in the center, it looks like we're at just under 800. Moving to the back, about 450. And then back to the center. And then we're gonna go all the way into the right corner, 380, and then to the right side, about 500. So overall, again, great numbers for veg. This is starting to get into your flowering range. Flowering is recommended at 15 to 21 inches. So the next reading that I'm gonna take is going to be at 18 inches. And at 18 inches, right in the center, we are getting a par reading of about 840. It's really good. And then to the back, about 420, 430. And in the corner, looks like just under 300. And then on this side here, about 430. So as you move closer to a surface, you're gonna get less uniformity. So you might have some higher points, but with that comes some lower points as well. So you have to find that perfect height that is right for your application, whether you're growing in a grow tent or you're growing in a grow room. It's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. So keep in mind that this meter is picking up only about 90% of the light just because of that far red light that this uh, meter is not picking up. So we have to account for that and kind of add that in uh, with some of these numbers that we're getting. So the readings are actually gonna be a little bit higher. But overall, I am quite impressed with these readings. Overall, good uniformity at about 24 inches and at about 18 inches. In the rare case that you have a problem with your light, Electric Sky products come with a three-year warranty. 
The MSRP on the Electric Sky 300 is $695 and two units will run you $1,390. The ES180 is only $420 and two units will run $840. To sum this up, here are some of the key features of this lighting system. The units contain top bin underdriven diodes for efficiency and extended lifetime. The wideband spectrum helps aid explosive growth in large flowers. The lights are passively cooled with a large heat sink, which reduces the need for moving parts. The plug can be switched from 120 volts to 240 volts input in a couple of seconds. There are different ways to hang the lights, and they can be angled as needed. I really like the idea of a modular system which can be expanded. Putting a couple of these lights next to each other makes for a system that provides even coverage over a 4x4 area or larger or smaller if you're going with the ES-180. If you want to learn more or purchase the ES-300 or ES-180, click the link in the description. And give this video a thumbs up and comment to let us know what you think about this light. And if you want more content like this from LED Grow Lights Depot, subscribe here for updates. Till next time.